So, all right, I'm back on the scene. Welcome to 2021. It's been a, a it's been a start somehow. It's just starting, and uh, yeah, I just decided to make a, a a a New Year's video after New Year's 2021 video. I and I've been like I said, I've been continuing to paint. I as you see, I'll show you in in a. As we speak, you'll see me doing some footage of the of last year's painting, that, which I never finished. It's called The Singer, and uh, it's working in water oils and using a Zorn palette. So basically, it's just, again, it's just four colors I'm using, which is titanium, white, uh, Mars black, uh, yellow ochre, and uh, some type of red hue, some type of uh, red uh, cadmium hue. And these are Windsor New Newton, and I've been just painting away. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to make a quick video. Um, just, you know, I was drawing a little bit earlier today. I don't know if your eyes can see this, but you probably can't see it. It's gonna be white out. Basically, you can't see it, but if I put it on the edge, basically what it, it's, it's just uh, a nude woman, but it had some affirmations and it said, don't stop drawing. Don't st stop sketching. Don't stop painting. Don't stop sculpting. Don't stop writing. Don't stop play music. Don't stop learning. Don't stop loving. Don't stop living. Don't stop breathing. Don't stop running. Don't stop laughing. Don't stop seeing. Don't stop hearing. Don't stop touching. Don't stop tasting. And don't stop being kind. So that's something I want to share with you guys. I will be trying to keep showing you more videos if you definitely like my content please please you know what to do anyway um unfortunately i i wanted to live stream but my iphone doesn't do that and this camera is having problems with the stream unfortunately i it's a canon m50 but i've looked it up it's just probably just a, it's just this particular camera it doesn't mean all the canons it's just my camera went bad but uh yeah anyway I just wanted to make that a short video.
too long. It's been actually since the new year. I haven't really posted a video. Um, a lot has been going on. I have been sick. That's right, sick. And uh, unfortunately, I am a person who got the latest <laughs> sickness, which was not good. So, you know, I, I came out. I am uh, COVID-19 positive, and uh, I had to stay in quarantine. It, it, it wasn't too bad. I had a cough, um, some slight fever, weakness. Um, I mean, I was one of the lucky ones, but uh, I'm still recovering, quarantine. Lucky I had, you know, the help of someone I love help me out. I quarantined, of course, um, took precaution, didn't go anywhere. I stood in the basement this whole time. I've been in the basement for like almost three weeks, just in and out basement, and it's been... Trials and tribulations. And that's what it is. Trials and tribulations. Um, I haven't been able to focus too much on art, but um, in terms of painting. But I, I've been re reading rereading a book uh, you probably are familiar with. It's Andrew Loomis's. Um, it's called uh, by Andrew Loomis. It's called Figure Drawing for All It's Worth. I got this book a long time ago at a Barnes and Nobles. Uh, just to show you real quickly, I've been working on the figure, as you can see, learning about arcs and um, how to draw it and symmetry. And also, I've been sketching my sketchbook. I'll show you that as well. Uh, yeah. So just because I've been sick and out of action doesn't really mean I'm not going to stop drawing. I just uh, been drawing still, you know, drawing away. I'll show you guys, in fact, let me show you. Uh, so if I'm holding the camera all crazy, I'm sorry, but the best I can do. Coming up with just drawings and uh, just wild stuff. Learning about uh, perspective again and drawing buildings. Drawing lots of faces. Learning the drawing the uh, structure again or the quick setup of proportions. These are Andrew Lewis. And I'm back to my cold erase pencils that I got like seven years ago and I'm back to using them. And these are just all made up characters. Um, pretty much that's it. A little bit of a steampunk involved, or you could say a uh, cyborg, you know, sci punk <coughs> influences, and just drawing random faces. And there's that part how you measure with Andrew Loomis style, and just making up characters as I go. And watching a lot of Netflix too. So looking at faces, like this character, he's inspired uh, from the character Doc from Z Nation, which had five seasons on sci-fi. I liked it, so he just, I really like this character. And of course, we're attempting to draw more faces and trying to do the body, as you can see, learning anatomy on my own, and just doing skulls and uh, more faces and perspective of cars. And again, just putting it out there, you know, putting out more um, drawings and stuff like that. And here's just me randomly just drawing different things in circles, uh, drawing plates, eggs, I can't move too close, but chicken legs, bears, knives, I don't even know what I was drawing at one point or another, and saws, just keeping my hand busy, shoes. Yeah. This is a uh, last is from the '80s, actually, inspired by a YouTube video I saw of a uh, called Saint Marks, uh, like a like a woman named Barbara Le Le Lehman. If you type that in to YouTube, Barbara Lehman, uh, Saint Marks, uh, New York, 1985 video. It's a great video of, of captures a time capsule of the of the night of the '80s in the, in the Lower East Side, and this person she interviews a woman with glasses and a hat kind of cool she says she she doesn't really shop in new york she shops in france and that was funny 
So yep, and that's pretty much it. And I'll show you quickly. I'll show you quickly. Uh, I did did some work on my painting that I did started last year, called the Singer. So let me show you real quickly what I've been working on there. Let me just get up here and walk, and you can see it. Here we go. As you can see, I am working more and more on the cloth part, and I'm gonna finish working on this part here. So it's really one part left with the tambourine and the hand, and then <coughs> the other side, and that's it. The painting should be done. As soon as I get better, I'll, I'll get back on this painting. Really glad how it came out. So yeah. Anywho, guys, um, thank you for watching, and uh, I will definitely keep you posted on more of the artwork I'm doing. Bye, guys.